It gave Grandpa a great deal of trouble to sufficiently shave off his stubble. The skin on his face was so drooped out of place, he mistook himself for his double. He had nightmares that kept reoccurring. Then of the snakes nearby stirring. He knew it wasn't real, but he still made a deal with the god somewhere off in the blurry. Took considerable nagging to get his toothbrush to wagging. For try as he might, gave him a fright, set off a ghastly gaggy. With a seventh grade education, he found himself a vocation. With his carpentry skill and a stubborn will, and a drink for his self preservation. Granted him very few wishes. Granny was hip, but she ran a tight ship. It was Grandpa who kept us in stitches. He worked at the old institution in the Department of Temporal Solutions. They damaged what they could, he'd rebuild with nail and wood for people with a bad constitution. He helped raise three lovely daughters who mostly did what they oughta except for the youngest. She grew up in the 60s, man. It's a good thing that nobody caught her. Sometimes his fancies took place Say, go ask your grandma for a light. Three year old with cigarettes, it wasn't hard to figure it. Granny's short fuse would ignite. Built a biplane and took people flying. He'd clutch his chest and pretend he was dying. Or make the engine thump, saying, We're gonna have to jump. Oh, it was terrifying. He showed me the family states, saying, Oh, this will be yours, you just wait. But it was never my land, it was Mackinac Island. I guess we all had to relocate. It was Father's Day when he died. He called out to his saint of a bride He whispered her name As he left this domain Seven years down the road She replied 